Simon Griggs, would you like to come and join us? I feel like you're actually part of the Premier Sports crew now. We have you on that out. much. Hey, it's a good thing, though. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, obviously really happy. Two teams that have been close together all year, and it was their third in a week, so we won't get too carried away with it, but just listening to your remarks there, I thought, I thought we were um, pretty clever for most parts, kicked at the right times, kicked in the right areas, and there were just a couple of times where they were just about to fall over, and I felt like we'd just give them it back and, and give them a little bit of energy, but it was enough, and two points tonight, whether it was by 20 or by one point, it didn't matter to us. Grixie, you just look like your timing, you're unperfect. You look like you're getting better and better every time we see you. Is there anything you're doing in training, periodising it, for a tilt at the end of the season? Oh, you'll have to speak to Scott about all that stuff. That's, <laughs> that's the brains of it. But no, they're a fit bunch, which really does help. Um, some of the bands we've had, which have been unfortunate and, and hurt us in some ways, probably help us. A few more fresh bodies coming in and out, but we'll be tested again. I think James will burn all hamstring there, who's been brilliant for us this year. Um, but that's what your squad's for, I suppose, and we're in that final third. and. We just keep looking at the next game. We can't get too far ahead. Look, another great win there. But what I'm interested in knowing is where do you think the improvements are in this Halifax side? I think just everyone's after a perfect game. Um, we're not going to get a perfect game. But if we can get some longer patches together, I think we completed our first eight from ten, which is a great start, obviously. Then the next one weren't great. I think if we can put two of them together and play with that sort of shape and promote the ball to people in better positions than we are when we're carrying it, I think we can put any team under the pump, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just keeping keeping our heads when we get a bit of joy. I thought we got a bit of joy early, then we started throwing the ball around a bit unnecessarily. Well, you did get a bit of joy, and you got a bit of joy on the right edge. Was that part of your plan to go there and expose that left edge for, for battle? Yeah, um, they're quite aggressive on their edges. It doesn't really... They had Dale Morton on the other side, who was quite aggressive as well. It's just generally how they, how they defend when they get near their line. They come up and they're aggressive and... Just the idea was just to put enough bodies around them to make sure they weren't quite sure where it was going to go. Um, and they were, I'll take a little bit of credit for the Sultan stalls. Maybe his <laughs> fourth try in the second half. We've seen that one coming. Um, we started our back row a bit wider just to stretch them out a bit, knowing Buchanan had come and then Salty gets a little walk in. So them ones are nice training ground ones. But yeah, we, we did we do his work and sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, we'll take them tonight. You Simon, meant... let's have a look at the... Sorry, sorry Kyle, sorry. I just want to have a look at the try that you are taking a little bit of credit for through James Sultan stall then. How impressed really, were you with him? Oh, really good to shuffle back there um, in a big game when you're up against it um, with, with Woody going off. Yeah, definitely a really good game. I'm surprised he didn't get man of the match here as well. I think someone's had a few beers when they were giving that one out. But, <laughs> yeah, he took them all well. We didn't, we didn't plan to go there exclusively to the right, but we just got a bit of joy. Well, was that play pre-planned before the game or after you'd sort of scored a few out wide? Yeah, I think, it, I think it was your pet play. Hang, was it we used to call it? it hang. Yeah. Um, get the hit ball with the fullback coming when you try and stretch them out and make them make, them make a decision. So, yeah, we knew there'd be a little bit of joy there. We've played each other enough over the years. We know we know who does what. So, yeah, happy to get a bit of, a bit of joy on that and we'll probably give some away now for next time. But maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll throw it, them through, through, right, through the middle. Yeah, we'll <laughs> did, you, uh, did you put a big focus on, on, on Hooley? Because every time you put the kick up, Lachlan Wormsley was sprinting down there. You know, there was, there was a couple of times where Batley actually done well to sort of block him, but his effort to even get round that and make sure that Hooley couldn't have any space or any joy whatsoever, was that something that you spoke about? Yeah, limiting their back three is a big thing. Uh, Johnny Campbell's quite unpredictable and can run across the field. Morton would, was the same who we yeah. prepared for. And Hooley, obviously, a bit, a bit like Hodjo, a bit like Brett Hodgson, used to find the end of the line really well. So trying to get him in an area where he can't quite skirt across and get a legs tackle and play it fast was really important, obviously. Lachlan's really good in the air, so if we can stick it up there and get him up for a few contests throughout the game, generally we're getting a bit of joy from that. If you play to your best, are you confident you can beat Lee? Oof. Oof, it's a big ask. <laughs> uh, look, if we played to our best for a full game, played our way and, and we could manage their physicality, there's no reason why we couldn't be in the game. I think with Lee, it's, they've done it themselves. They, they get fair weather rugby a lot because big bodies they get on top and they stay on top they're really good at it I think the key to someone beating Lee whether it's us Battle, York anyone else is can you get to the stage of the game where you're still in it to the period where you have your say at the end and and if you can get there who knows we're all we're all human in the end aren't we and Simon just a word on the man that scored his first try for Halifax in Will Colcott let's just have a look at that try shall we Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, he's a big long thing, six, six <laughs> something. Um, been into him about getting lower, not necessarily using the lead with your head technique, but talking about James Graham when he was in his pump spinning out um, and you know getting an advantage off it there. But yeah, Cali's been working really well in the background, come through our college pathway system, we called it Dale College, and 
at 24 now. He's, he's still probably a little bit behind the lads who've gone through the full academy system, but he's getting there. And um, at 24, he's, he's filling out a little bit as well. Oh, he's excited as well. I've seen that before. <laughs> Grixy, I just thought all your middles today, you know, Tangata, Murray, they, they all seem to play with one another, you know, little soft passes just before the line. Is that something you encourage your middles to do? Yeah, definitely. I think the idea really is move back around a little bit because they're a big team, but then the short passes, are the, they hurt the most when they're in the middle, don't they? When they're coming at you at speed and someone hits your inside shoulder when you've got a bit of fatigue under you. So it's part of our plan every week. It's not just isolated for Batley, but... Again, that, that phrase of promoting the ball to someone in a better position than you, if you can give your mate a one-on-one, -on -one, let them have it and we'll try and get them on the next one. Simon Grace, huge congratulations once again. I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you very much. Awesome. I'll let you duck off and join the lads and Thank celebrate. You very much.